so my friend sent me a listing to this 03 Cobra. It's dark shadow gray. It's a convertible, and it was being sold as a roller. That means it doesn't have an engine, a transmission, and in this case, it didn't have any seats. But at least all the wiring was there. Everything else was there to be able to put back together relatively easy. The car was swapped to a solid axle, and it had a nice tank in the back and a bunch of suspension, so it's pretty obvious the car was being used for drag racing, which I find it interesting when people use convertibles to drag race. I mean, not that you can't do that, but it just seems like most people would choose to have a coupe to do that with, but I know there's a lot of guys out there with fast Cobras that are convertibles, and so there's nothing against that. I'm just saying it's kind of interesting when you see people go that route. Um, maybe some people buy the car and don't plan on racing it, and then it evolves into that. But the special thing about this Cobra that my friend was interested in and why he was showing it to me was because this is what they claim in the listing to be one of five Dark Shadow Grey Terminators made in 03. Remember, Dark Shadow Grey was only offered in 03 for the Cobra. And it's one of five that did not come with a rear spoiler. So that makes this a pretty rare car. Here you can see the back of the trunk lid with the normal style Mustang third brake light and no holes drilled in the trunk lid. So in this picture you can see that it does not have the duck bill style rear spoiler that the 03 Cobra came with. I'll show you a picture of mine here. I really think this is the best looking spoiler to come on a new edge Mustang and it has the third brake light integrated into it so it's a different brake light than the third brake light that would be on the trunk lid of the car. And everybody loves the spoiler. I hardly know anybody I've ever talked to who would say they would order the car without it, except for the case that it would make the car more special because it makes it more rare. But besides that, I don't see why anybody would check the box to delete the spoiler on this car. But anyway, depending on how you want to look at it, this is a pretty rare Cobra. Now, most people don't care for the convertibles and they don't care for spoiler delete, but if uh, that's something that a collector is into, they might be interested in this car. Now, it does have 75,000 miles and it's been used as a track car, so it's not a low mileage example, but there are a lot of cars out there that were low production cars and uh, with minimum options uh, that were considered rare, that were used and driven and not preserved and collected for that reason. So to me, I think this is a car that if that's something you like, it would be interesting to get it for that reason. But they were selling the car as a roller for a decent price. And with all those upgrades, it would be a nice car for somebody to put back together. I believe they even said it had a wire tuck in the engine. So that means they take all the engine harnesses and they tuck them into the fenders. So it's a cleaner look. So if that's something people are interested in, maybe they'd be interested in this car. Now, this car has most likely sold by now. I try not to make the videos of the cars while they are still for sale because I don't want to get involved in selling cars for people or helping them market the car or anything like that. So this was uh, something my friend sent me a little while ago, and I just wanted to share it with everybody and show that being a roller, this car would most likely be parted out as a roller convertible Cobra. I mean, not most likely, but it is more likely. But in this case, hopefully, since it's a Terminator and it's um, kind of a rare Terminator, uh, the car could hopefully survive. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this video and stay tuned for more Mustang content.